Welcome to this MuseScore tutorial on chords and chord symbols. In this video, we'll be taking this lead sheet of Autumn Leaves, a jazz standard, and inputting it into MuseScore. I'll start a new score with clarinet and B-flat, in concert pitch though, otherwise we're in the wrong key, and my lead sheet with the chord symbols on the left. Let's start with the melody in the clarinet. I have my melody written in, now we need to add the chord symbols. Click where I want them to start and type Control K for chord symbols. Now I can pretty much type them as they appear here. Some things I may need to change, like a flat I can write as a small b, a sharp I can do hash, and that should be most of them. MuseScore can recognize many different symbols for the chords. So let's try F minor 7. Notice that MuseScore also plays the chords as you write them, so that you can start hearing how they sound. I'm just pressing spacebar between these chords to move to the next note. D minus 7, flat 5. Beautiful. We have all the chords written in, and that's fine. Muse Chord can play them. Sometimes we don't want them to play these chords though. Uh, these are played, if I open up the mixer, F10, and I expand this to show the channels, I can see that the normal B-flat clarinet and the harmonies are played here. So I can mute those here. Or if I don't feel like going into the mixer, I can instead go to the inspector, F8, select the chords and then press play. We are going to need to select these chords a fair amount. To do that we can actually remove this autumn leaves now. We can just view this here and let's go into continuous view. To select these chords I'll select all the bars and then right click on one of them and choose select all similar elements in the range selection or in this case in the same staff because we only have these chord symbols but normally you'll want to use the range selection now we've just selected those and I can now open the inspector F8 and untick the play option that's what we want for now because we want to hear these chords in real notes on other instruments not on the clarinet part. All right, so let's add these chords to a piano part. So I'm going to I for instruments, piano, and let's add a piano. I want to select these chords again because this is all I've got. I'll use, I'll click on the first bar and use Control, Shift, and the End button. That selects the whole stave. Then I can select one of them, select, sorry, right click on one of them, select, and all similar elef elements, all similar elements, that works too. I'll copy those, come back to the beginning, and put them into the piano part. And there we go, there we have the chords in there. And those also don't play because we've copied them from there. However, we want the piano to play those chords and we want to see them. Again, I'll select this whole thing this time I can right click and choose realize chord symbols. Here are the chord symbols that we have and we have a couple of options to change but we're going to use the defaults for now just to see what it does. And MuseScore has given us chords so we can see what notes are in each chord. We'll also see though that some chords have three notes, some have four notes depending on what chord it is. It has written out the full chord. 
unfortunately these notes clearly should be in the bass clef and they're not. So let's undo that and find some options that we've got. First up I can copy those chords again into the bass clef. Select that stave again, Control Shift and End, right click, Realize Chords, and now I can instead of choosing the voicing auto, I can choose the root only. And there's my bass. That's fantastic. I can now select this with Control Shift and End, and then right click and Realize Chord Symbols. And unfortunately there is not a voicing at this stage that leaves the root out. All of these voicings have the root in them. Uh, so we'll just choose an auto for now. And then what we would need to do, if I press home, I can go back to the beginning, is delete every single bass note. There is another great use for this Realize Chord Symbols feature, and that is to make separate parts for individual instruments. Let's add a string section to this. So I for instruments, strings, I'm going to add two violins, viola, cello, and a double bass. First up, let's add this bass line. Let's first just uh, remove these. Copy that bass line and let's put it into the contrabass. Some of those can go down some octaves, you know, that might be quite nice. We can do things like that, we can, we can change the voicing as we go. But this chord I want to have split up in here. So what I'll do is let's copy those chords again. I'll select all similar elements, copy with Control C, back home, and I'm going to put them in just the first violin part. So paste them there, select everything again. We're going to realize the chord symbols, but this time we're going to override it and use a four note voicing. Because I've only got four instruments here, I only want four notes. There we have it, and at the moment it looks a bit ridiculous with all of these notes in just the violin part. However, if I select those, MuseScore has this great feature in Tools and Explode. And when I click that, it sends one note to each instrument. And they're even in not a bad range. Then I can simply get rid of these um, chord symbols again, delete, and hopefully start hearing this thing. Now of course naturally we can do any arranging that we need to do with these voices, uh, but there's a quick way to get chords from chord symbols into a whole section. Another option here is that before I explode this into my different string parts, I could create different rhythms in this part and thus um, get the same rhythm in all these parts. So let's try this. I'm going to select and then I'll, so I selected crotchet and then R for repeat. Let's just get some crotchets through here. Let's choose a minimum there. Then let's have a dotted crotchet followed by a quaver. Let's tie that to the minimum. Tie those across. And then if I explode this now, all those notes have. we've got a little bit more rhythmic interest in our part.